African American community play a major role in the civil rights movement. They have this spirit from their ancestor, the slave. They wanted to pursue the civil liberty. There are several organizations of the civil rights movement. The first one is Southern Christian Leadership Conference in 1957, closely associated with Martin Luther King. They have sponsored programs such as Citizenship School. The second one is National Committee on Negro Judgment in 1944. They have the idea of Black Power Statement. They become more aggressive approach to combating racism using the Bible for inspiration. Many of the key figures from the civil rights movement were also prominent religious figures and made many of the paramount events possible. Examples other than the revered Martin Luther King Jr. include Ralph Abernathy, another minister and King's closest ally. He worked side by side with King throughout his endeavors and even co-founded the SCLC with him. He also had many brilliant ideas such as the Montgomery bus boycott, which desegregated buses. Another example is Bernard Lee, a pastor in Virginia that started as a student activist but quickly became Martin Luther King's right-hand man. Lee escorted King through dangerous crowds, participated in the march from Selma to Montgomery, and helped fill the void after King's assassination. These historical and religious figures, among many others, were able to work together and organize countless events and demonstrations that are characteristic of the civil rights movement. The church had such a large breadth of influence because nearly every member of the African American community knew someone involved with the church, whether it be relatives, neighbors, or friends. They utilized this influence in order to organize large-scale protests. One example was the Baton Rouge bus boycott, which was primarily organized and funded by churches. To make the protest more effective, they developed a free parlor system to temporarily replace these buses. They had to make the system free in order to evade laws requiring a taxi license. In addition to political and financial support, these churches provided spiritual and emotional empowerment. They inspired individuals to continue to fight even in the face of their harsh reality. The power of this encouragement can be seen in the crowd chanting "Walk, Walk" when T.J. Jemison announced the end of the protest. They are willing to continue sacrificing their own resources because they believe they can still make a greater impact. The church also provided a safe space for leaders to meet. This prevented government officials from noticing and prevented any unwanted attention. In the Birmingham protests, black churches were the power centers through which the confrontation was organized and coordinated. Throughout the confrontation, the 16th Street Baptist Church was the organization's headquarters. During the actual protest, despite being violently oppressed, protesters responded by praying to God to ask for strength. Just as they had during services in the black church throughout the century, the decisive victory in Birmingham allowed for the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which ended segregation once and for all.